Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In a relational database, you aren't supposed to have records in a child or related table which have no reference to a related record in a parent table. So for example, in a sales table that contains a customer ID field, any reference placed into the customer ID field should correspond to a valid customer ID in the customer's table. However, this isn't always the case. If properly constructed from the beginning, enforcing referential integrity on your access tables will ensure that you do not have unmatched records. But if you are creating a new access database from data that was not stored in a relational database that had referential integrity checks, then you may have unmatched field references within your tables. Using the Find Unmatched query, find such records in a child table field that do not contain any valid reference to a record in the parent table. Such records are said to be orphaned. You can then recreate the necessary references within the records shown, maintaining data validity. To create a Find Unmatched query, click the Query Wizard button that appears in the Queries group, or the other group if using Access 2007, on the Create tab within the ribbon. Select the Find Unmatched Query Wizard in the New Query dialog box and click OK to launch the Find Unmatched Query Wizard. In the first screen, select the name of the table or query that may contain unmatched or orphaned records. Then click the Next button to continue to Screen 2. In the second screen, select the name of the parent table that contains the records that should contain the matching values for the records in the first table that you selected. Then click Next to continue. In the third screen, you must select the names of the two fields within each table by which the two tables should be joined. Then click the button that appears between the two fields to link them for the duration of the query in order to find unmatched records. Then click the Next button to continue to the next screen. Here you can select any additional fields you wish to display in the query results from the available fields list, and then simply click the single right pointing arrow button to move them into the selected fields list. Then click the Next button to continue to the last screen, where you can type a name for the query into the text box provided. Then click Finish to display the records from the first table that contain no matching records in the second table. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.